Hi there. I'm April Sprintz. I'm the founder of Driven Outcomes and the creator of the Generosity Culture. And I am so excited that you're here with me. I've hired a production company to help me share with everyone what the Generosity Culture is all about. And what I'd really love to do is invite you to travel with me throughout the United States as we show you where the Generosity Culture came from, what it is, and why the leaders and companies that are using its principles are so successful. From my early years in the military to the corporate world and then building my own firm, everything I've done has been based on helping people. I've spent over two decades working with companies from nonprofits all the way to the Fortune 100 and helped generate over a billion dollars in additional revenue. That was all based on giving value and pouring in to others. Those principles built the generosity culture and the foundation that's helped my clients achieve levels of financial, personal, and ongoing success they never imagined. I want to take you back to where it all began, the tiny little town of Saudi Daisy, Tennessee, where a very special lady named Sue Harper, now my honorary Aunt Sue, stepped into my life and changed it forever. When I was nine years old, I came home from school and I found out my mom was going to rehab. The problem was she was drinking. She was drinking so much that she couldn't do her job. So I found out that day that she was going to leave. I found out from a woman by the name of Sue Harper. She was the head of human resources where my mother worked and she'd given her this wonderful option of you can go to rehab or you can lose your job. It's not a choice a lot of people got. And she gave her that choice in our home, which was also pretty rare when you think about it. And she didn't have to. Sue Harper chose to be there that day because she knew a nine-year-old little girl was going to come home and have her whole world go left. And she wanted to be there for her when it happened. And I remember you telling me, you know, your mom is doing a really brave thing. Like you made what was a bad situation really good. When you were like, she's being really brave and your life is gonna get better. What made you stay in contact with me? What made you say that you wanted to be friends and be in my life? Because that was so big to me. Well, I tried to be that way to everybody. And some people won't let you. I mean, I saw your potential, but I just gave you an opportunity and you took it. Well, she did give my mom a second chance. My mom went to rehab and she got better. She also made me her project. Sue became my mentor. She poured into me and she changed my life. Sue didn't do this because that was the key to success for Sue Harper. She did it because she was generous. And by investing in this one little girl, she gave me a life, a life that I love. And because it became the way I lived my life, it also became the way that I did business. What a great visit. I'm actually unpacking from Tennessee and now packing for Portland. I loved sharing the story behind the generosity culture with you and even more so the incredible impact that just one person can make. What I'd love to do in the next video is dive deeper into what it is to pour into your people and your clients and your community. That's what the generosity culture is all about. Mm -hmm.